Last time you saw us working on this engine, we were putting the crank and the cam in the case, and then we stuck the oil pump in to make sure that it cleared the cam bolts. Cam bolts, and they stick out a little bit from the cam. And this is where your oil pump sits in this saddle here. Now I'm going to test fit the oil pump before I put the case halves together and it looks like the pump will have clearance with the gasket and sealant and all that. And it's not going to bind on the cam bolts. We have to tap one of the oil inlet to the galleys in the case. So you have to plug that to force oil out the pump cover to go to your filter. And that's what a full flow is. You you had a filter, because these early Volkswagen engines did not have a filter. This is the hole right there that you have to tap and plug, and that would normally lead to this passage here. Now, since this is full flow, when you plug this hole, it forces the oil through that hole, right? Now, this will go to my external filter and subsequently my uh, external cooler. And then when it, the oil comes back from the cooler, it comes in this hole. Right there. Going straight down on there, so it's not tweaking as I'm trying to turn it. One quarter inch 18 NPT. Pipe right. thread. Pipe thread. So we'll see if it works. Should, that's and then what we, everybody's saying. And then we got, uh, where's the plug? It's oh. around. Yep, yeah, here we go. And then we got the copper plug. Brass. Brass plug. Brass, it says brass. Yeah, there. it says brass. Brass plug. Brass plug. To plug it. off the edges so it doesn't catch when you're installing it one quarter NPT plug we're gonna find overlap on number three so that we can find top dead at number one overlap on an engine is where you have one cylinder where your exhaust is opening after your intake closes or vice versa and then the other cylinder opposing would be firing on a four cylinder horizontally opposed so you find overlap and that's when you know it's firing on the other side then we'll push the dizzy then we can push the distributor drive gear in and lock it with the gear on the crank and then I can bolt the distributor in. So exhaust is closing, and then intake is opening on number three, if you watch the cam lobes here and here. So these are pointing downwards, which means that's number three operating the valves. And now, if you see, number one rod is all the way up in comparison to number two, where it's down. So this would be your... So that looks like where, about where it needs to be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my degree pulley, put it on the crank. Make sure we're at top and center. There is TDC number one firing. TDC is right here where this little globe logo is. Obviously you see BDC there, that's bottom and dead center. So, I should be good to go to slide this dizzy drive gear into place. Sits there. And then this is your mark here for number one. So you turn that towards number one. This gear is offset. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So, point that at number one, line that up there. That's where number one needs to be, right, right about there. So I have that set up, 
so I can push that in when we get the crank timed at number one. Firing on number one. Right. And then that way you're not fiddling with it and dropping washer. So now it's time to put the case halves together. We use that Yama lube that you've seen in uh, previous episodes. You can check the link up there at the top right. Make sure you use it sparingly. Just because they give you the whole bottle doesn't mean you have to use the whole bottle. Nice little thin coat. Let's make sure you torque those to 25 foot pounds. So there it is, folks. A complete short block. Short block. So Johnny's doing these buttons ups. Where he, well, with this one, and there's a few over here he's gonna put on and torque up. But then that's it. I think that's it for this episode. And uh, uh, what are we doing next? Pistons, cylinders, and heads. Yeah. Uh, yep. The business end. Business end. Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. You can also check out our website. It's garagejunkieapparel.com. We have all our shirts available for purchase. We'll see you next week.